What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Uh, today I'm going to actually demonstrate how to use the uh, water-powered hydraulic, whatever you want to call it, um, grounding rod um, installation method um, using this uh, electrical conduit with a, um, a hose fitting on the end and it uses water pressure to actually drill you know, an eight foot hole for this copper grounding rod. Um, so that's the quick and dirty. If you haven't watched my other video um, on how to do this or, or the, the concept behind this, watch it please. Um, so this is gonna be hard to film. I obviously have to have two hands. So I'm gonna figure out a way to, to prop this up and, and demonstrate this for you. Okay, sorry, this is gonna be at a little bit of a weird angle. It's kind of propped up on my, my windowsill here. Uh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Uh, obviously turn on the water, turn it up as high as it goes actually. <clears throat> And then, put this in the ground where you're going to want the hole. And then you kind of go up and down with it like this. Now this, this takes about 15 to 20 minutes. There's going to be rocks and some stuff in the way that's kind of hard to get, to get through and around. But um, you got to just kind of persevere and, and get through it. So. You have to try to ram it down as hard as you can. And then you lift it up to let some of the, the sediment clear out. And then you ram it down again. You just kind of keep doing that over and over again. Okay, now when your conduit piece, if you've got a 10 foot piece like mine, when that is sticking out oh, about a foot out of the ground, that's gonna want, when, be when you wanna put your your um, grounding rod in the ground because this is eight feet. You're also going to want to put it down a little bit further than than ground level, so you know it doesn't get damaged somehow. Anyway, um, you've got to put the grounding rod immediately in after pulling this thing out. So um, have a a mallet ready because you're going to need to. I mean, it's going to go in there pretty easily, but you're gonna, still going to have to pound it in a little bit. Um, so uh, I can't demonstrate that while I'm filming, but I'll come back up. Okay, here we are a couple hours later. Um, I've let this kind of try to dry a little bit. It's still a little muddy, but as you can see, I drove the, uh, the rod into the ground. Um, it's below, uh, below ground, and, um, but it's sticking up just enough that I can put on one of these uh, ground clamps and then you want to connect a um, uh, bare copper wire to it. Okay, so here we have the clamp on with the wire. You want to put the wire on the far side and then um, the far side of the, uh, the bolt and then tighten the bolt so that everything kind of pulls snugly together. Okay, here we are. Everything's connected. Uh, obviously, We'll use some clamps on this to kind of make it tidier, but um, you know, comes in and grounds out this this box. So, mission accomplished. Uh, hopefully, this helps you understand the first video I made. And thanks for watching.